with the sweet, fruity taste. You can see. You can see. The 90s. Face it. Either at one end of the nerve or the other. The 90s gaming boom was the first of its kind since the creation of console gaming. And it's a big improvement over the first video games, like Atari's Pong and Space Invaders. Because today's computer chips are better. They have more memory. Yeah, I mean, just listen to this guy. I've been playing the game, much more excitement. There's better use of colors, better use of music. Oh. <laughs> Just like this girl, I bet you're wondering, how did video games evolve? Well, I'll tell you. It all began with the Magnavox Odyssey. I should mention, I did not add this creepy music. This is Odyssey, the new electronic game simulator. You attach Odyssey to your television set in seconds to create a closed circuit electronic playground. The Magnavox Odyssey was the first of its kind. It was invented by Ralph H. Baer in 1972. Odyssey comes complete with 12 electronic games and educational experiences. Odyssey. It's new from Magnavox. Next is a game that will go down in history books as one of the most legendary games of all time. Something about this little white square has stuck with gamers all over the world and will never be forgotten. Pong. You might be asking yourself, what system do these amazing graphics belong to? I'm, well, you're, you're probably not going to ask yourself that, but it's... The Microvision was made by ColecoVision. It was the first handheld gaming device similar to like a Game Boy. Hey! We'll be right back. Bobby's mom, you gotta have a look. See it all the dipsy tool adventures of my little Nancy. Watch my little cowboy. Catch Bobby's World weekdays right here on Fox Kids. Now back to our show. The original Super Mario was unveiled with the release of the legendary Atari 2600. It was the first system to use cartridges. Next is my personal favorite. I played when I was this guy's age. And it is my personal favorite. The NES. It stands for Nintendo Entertainment System. Between the release of these systems was one of my favorite creations of all time. Not just in gaming, but in general, one of the best inventions in my opinion. The Game Boy. Though the Microvision came first, the Game Boy was a giant leap in portable gaming and changed the way people played video games forever. When the Turbo Graphics was released in 1987, it was the first 16-bit gaming system. But it never really took off. It was never a big system and that's probably why you've never heard of it today. Sega Rally Championship. The Sega Genesis started it all in the 90s. It was the first system that really took advantage of the 16-bit and created games that we still remember, love, and play today. <laughs> The SNES is also one of my all-time favorites. I have always loved and will always love Nintendo games. The 
but <laughs> it had some of my, my most favorite games, and I still love the graphics to this day. I love the use of them, the use of colors and sound. It was just, it made for an awesome system. Uh, 1990 was a huge year for gaming. 1994 saw the release of two huge systems, the Sega Saturn and the PlayStation 1. And boy, did they battle for the top spot. There's never been a game like Sega Saturn's Nights. Never been a game that's allowed you to fly, fluid and free, in real time 3D. Never, not anywhere, but especially not on that other system. Simply because, with only one processor, it doesn't have the power to do it. Fly, Playmate, fly. You're not ready. Both the Sega Saturn and the PlayStation 1 were the first systems to utilize disc games. <laughs> After these systems were released, everything took off. Graphics, sound, gaming in general became a massive market. We had Xbox and Xbox 360. Today we have Xbox One with graphics you can't even tell the difference between real life and video games. We have the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and the Nintendo Wii. Wii. The, the Wii. With all these awesome systems, it's hard to tell what the future will hold. We didn't expect for gaming to go from cartridges to discs, and we didn't expect the graphics to go from this pixelated gaming to real life comparable graphics, where you can't even tell the difference between real life and video game. The graphics nowadays are absolutely amazing. You can also live stream to millions of people. A live stream is playing a game live like a YouTube video but it's happening in real time and I'm excited to see what's gonna come next the Xbox one and the PlayStation 4 are the most recent systems but you do not know what will be released next every time they hold a gaming convention everyone is excited to see what new features will be released with these systems So here's to the future of gaming and I'm excited to see what comes next. Ready? And we are gonna Alright, me and the boys here got some surge from when I was little. This is a 90s soda. I haven't had it since I was little, since I was like this big. So we're gonna try it together. It's been a long time since I've had Surge. These guys have never had it. We're gonna give it a shot. Just cracked it. We haven't tried it yet. There we go. Okay, ready? We're gonna try this together. Mommy, grab a cup. You wanna try it with us? Okay. Here we go. We're gonna give it a shot. Cheers. Cheers to Surge. Surge. Here we go. Ready? Kind of like it's like Mountain Dew Sprite, Mountain Dew Sprite kind of thing, right? It's good. <laughs> you have a lot of energy. Surge. <laughs> 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 <laughs>